Caddis Maximus here. This time with a review of a Gray Tools C73. This is a 60 inch or 5 foot long, 1 inch diameter forged alloy steel chrome plated pinch bar, pry bar, jimmy bar, iron workers bar. So many different names for one of these types of pry bars. Appreciate Gray sending this over to me. This is a promotional or <laughs> promotional free item, but no payment, so it's not a sponsored video, but I couldn't help it. When I saw this, I thought, well, I've been wanting a really nice big pry bar. That was something a lot better than what I had before, which was, you know, one of these El Cheapo rock bars. This happens to be the Harbor Freight. These things are El Cheapo, but they're just not that great. And if you put a lot of load on them, they either bend or they break. Sometimes, you know, they're okay as a rock bar. But some, I wanted something that was truly high quality. Put that away. And so this gray ends up fitting the bill. We do have a sharpened point. Some pry bars have a flat point, but I don't mind that. If you like it to be flattened, of course, you can grind that down. Pretty nice machining there. And then on the tip, it is forged. We can see how it's mushed out, so they did. this is pretty strong nice slight angle just for adjusting things, lifting up, moving machinery around. One thing I will mention is the tip profile is different depending on the length of the bar. On this 60 inch, as you can see, this is actually pretty short and pretty thick because if it gets too thin, it's just really easy to bend or break the tips. They make the tip on this actually kind of stubby, so it actually has lots of extra strength. If we compare to say my Klein, uh, 30 inch here Had to make sure this is indeed 30 inches if we compare to the Klein you can see where how this Klein has Just a, a thinner slightly longer profile, which is more appropriate for come on now camera for a 30 inch pry bar This is proportional for the length of the bar and the amount of load that you're going to be putting on it plus this is a 7 8 shank where this is of course a one inch shank and being so long 60 inches they make this a lot thicker price around 125 dollars delivered uh, either from gray tools or from uh, amazon as you probably saw on the thumbnail this is indeed made in canada so i do like seeing that definitely nice to see a north american made tool and once again these rock bars here are really you know for that you know if you're doing a lot of landscaping work trying to chop out roots that type of stuff that's what these are good for but they are uh, even as thick as they are they tend to be really heavy and of course the tip profile it's just a wedge so it doesn't work that great in many situations we are trying to either align heavy steel components level machinery or just do general prying work that's what makes something like this nicer is it's just a really big long more traditional style pry bar can't really get this whole thing in the frame because you know i'm six feet tall but it comes up all the way up to your chest i mean this is just an absolute beast of a pry bar and it's a nice touch seems to have a nice pretty thick heavy duty uh, chrome plating and to boot it's really straight. There isn't any warbling. It's not curved or anything like that. It's really a nice straight pry bar, which is, you know, may not remain straight if you're doing really heavy duty work, moving around chunks of concrete or what have you, and you're standing way out here on the end. You may cause it to bend. I mean, that's inevitable. It is pretty heavy, about 15 pounds or so. I guess to demonstrate though, it is still pretty heavy duty. I'll go ahead and uh, hop on it. I weigh about 235 pounds here. And if I bounce on it, 235 pounds right in the middle, we're getting some flex, but it's definitely pretty heavy duty. I don't know really what else to say about this besides for Canadian made pry bar that's five feet long and an inch in diameter that's actually alloy steel and actually has a proper prying end on it. I actually think it's kind of hard to beat. I've been looking around and uh, actually kind of hard to find these super long, super huge pry bars. 
there's actually a variety of situations where you may use one of those El Cheapo uh, rock bars where something like this may just be a slightly better option. Uh, if you know if you work on class 8 or heavy duty uh, highway trucks earth moving equipment uh, off you know off road or off highway equipment uh, a pry bar like this could, could definitely be something you might be familiar with or could certainly use because there's lots of times where you need to do some heavy duty prying um, farm equipment there's all sorts of farm equipment it's getting huge these days so a pry bar like this definitely could come in handy in a variety of situations like that and just having a nice long one isn't that you always need the maximum amount of leverage it's just the fact that it can make a lot of things that are a lot easier where sometimes you may be able to get away with a smaller pry bar like this you're putting pipes on it you're jumping on it that type of thing to try to get the thing to move whatever you're working on move so when you have a 60 inch you end up with just a whole bunch more leverage which means more control in a lot of situations. It's a safer operation. Anyway, not a lot else to say about this. I really appreciate Gray sending it over to me. And I appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.